basically uh, solving the code one two three seven and uh, I don't know whether this question is interesting but it, it, I mean it looks like there is no other ways to solve it uh, because uh, if you know uh, basically some mathematics then you you you, you know that uh, the there's no uh, any algorithms basically you can find any positive can find positive integers solution for any given equation so so suppose you 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 you, you put a firm and s uh, you 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 put, put the the s cube plus y cube plus equal to z cube then there's no way that somebody can find an integer positive integer solution okay so this method uh, so what we need to know is that uh, someone give you the some function and they claim that uh, z is from 1 to 100 and if you have nine functions guarantee that the uh, x y will be in this region so the only way is that you just uh, two for loop and uh, check whether it's the answer and uh, but the the the, the uh, one important thing is that uh, the function is constantly increasing. So, so you know that if a function is larger than z, then you just break, then you just break. So basically, you create a solution and uh, you plot, you you just uh, write two for loop and uh, check out whether there's a fun there's a solution. If not, then done. So this is probably the only way to solve this. To solve this, okay. So I think mm, it's very straightforward, and I will see you guys in the next video.